All right, my name is Annabelle Lolinko. I'm a co-chair for NSPN's the National Science Policy Network's uh, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee. And we're happy to have you all here um, to talk more about this new initiative that we have, the Lifting Underrepresented Voices, or LOVE, a uh, grant that we're hoping um, you all can apply for and use the funds um, in unique ways to uh, lift up the um, sort of underrepresented communities uh, that you either work with or represent. Um, and in charge of this whole initiative of getting the grant up and running uh, is Sky. So I'm going to go ahead and let him take the reins for the uh, presentation. If you have any questions or concerns throughout um, sort of the first half of the informational session, feel free to put it in the chat. Um, and we do will have a Q&A session um, once the uh, official information is all said and done. So Sky, if you'd like, you can turn on your video and your voice. Now that yeah. is. Definitely, thanks a lot, Annabelle. Uh, and yeah, and we'll also have a little section in the end, um, kind of, uh, if you have any ideas, or, um, you know, we'll give some example ideas, you know, so workshop any ideas that you may have, um, see where, you know, we might be able to help. Um, yeah, so um, I kind of want to open up, um, you know, with just in case you aren't as familiar with NSPN, um, who we are. Uh, and while I can kind of just give the mission statement, which I put up there, um, I think a lot of it can be distilled by the three goals that NSPN has. Uh, and that's to empower advocates, um, especially as it relates to the uh, role of science and policy, um, to train early career scientists. And uh, that's as a way to kind of uh, develop policy leaders of the future and creating community. Um, and really to like help facilitate the exchange of ideas um, through working together and collaborating. Um, and then as um, Annabelle said earlier, um, we're part of the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee um, where um, the committee is focused around creating avenues for all to have opportunities in science policy, advocacy, communication, and diplomacy, which I'll refer to now as SIPAC. Um, through education, engagement, and retention. Um, yeah, and so now kind of transitioning to um, the grant itself and what we're trying to accomplish with that. Um, so I got it right up there. Uh, it's just to advance the interests of students and early career professionals by catalyzing interaction, engagement, and collaboration between underrepresented people and SIPACT, which once again was policy, advocacy, communication, and diplomacy. And so the idea is to, uh, we want to do that by providing greater opportunities. And here we're, uh, yeah, to provide greater opportunities for underrepresented voices to address issues that are important to them and their communities through, uh, through policy. Because um, uh, we feel that people who have been like left outside of space, um, once you're left outside of space for long enough, um, it doesn't even, you know, people can't even fathom sometimes that this mechanism is one that they can use to advance their interests and become further removed um, from it. And so we want to do that by offering direct support for minority serving organizations and community groups um, to not navigate through um, science policy advocacy communication or SIPAC. Uh, what, and the idea there is that as NS, NSPN is a uh, organization dedicated to SIPAC, um, maybe organization, uh, other organizations like yours might not have so much experience and uh, we can provide support through consultation or networking and really try to grow any ideas that you may have or grow any initiatives you might want to execute. And so we want to do all of that in, so we can, one, seed interest in the sciences as well as sciences role in policy, retain interest in that um, through supporting uh, people, 
We want to th then have that um, end up with these people kind of having their own agency in the space, so creating agency. Uh, and with that, creating sustainable partnerships between organizations that, you know, might have different focuses, but um, can come together around certain issues. And then in the end, kind of um, end up, I say I'm a lot, sorry, <laughs> end up developing future leaders. And so this slide is just dedicated to the technical details of the grant. Uh, yes, um, it will be uh, applications we will fund for up to $1,000, but there is no minimum. So any idea that you have as small or as big as $1,000, uh, we will consider funding. The deadline will be March 15th. Uh, and you'll receive a decision by April 1st. And we hope that you can use these funds for some time within April to September. As for the way we will uh, reimburse or disimburse the, uh, the funds is we're pretty malleable about that and NSPN will work with you. I think the preference is reimbursement, but um, other methods, just as disimbursement into a university associated account, if your uh, organization is um, housing a university or prepaid debit cards is also fine. But in the end, yeah, receipts will be required. And um, as it goes for honoraria, the is an option, but NSPN would like to pay for that directly. And finally, the last thing is that um, any proposals or any use of the funds should be 501c3 compliant, which the three main takeaways uh, as to what is 501 compliant or not is um, that there shouldn't be any private benefit. Uh, there, it can't be used for lobbying, but advocacy is okay and that the funds can't be used for political campaigning. So endorsement of specific political um, candidates. But if that's somehow, can, uh, if that's confusing or you have any questions, you can reach out. There's also, this is hyperlink to a website that breaks it down. There are a couple other things, but uh, those are less, less kind of important. And so one of the things I really wanted to do with this lab, uh, with this grant was to offer support in case uh, that we're interfacing with groups where um, SIPAC is not familiar, but they do want to kind of take advantage of that space for the, uh, for advancing underrepresented um, people's interests. And so to do that, uh, we came up with this little grants officers program. And so um, each one of us have slightly different expertise, slightly different um, experience, slightly different connections. And uh, we have slightly different backgrounds as well. And so we really hope that you can, uh, if there are any questions, you can reach out to any one of us. We have bios up on the website and uh, interface with us because we're help we're here to help you and make your ideas um a possibility i mean yeah there some of you guys might already know exactly what you want to do and exactly like how to do it and that's fine too but just in case um yeah we're here to help through consultation and networking and other other ways and so i want to take this opportunity to introduce the grants officers where there's four of us. And so I'm John, or you can call me Sky. Um, we have EM, uh, and EM is also a co-chair of the diversity, equity, and inclusion subcommittee. Hello, EM. Hi, Sky. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> we have uh, Pardeep, uh, and Pardeep is from New York, he has his own uh, podcast talking about um, 
you know, diversity, equity, inclusion in science that he releases on a, I'm not sure how often basis, but. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Pardeep. Uh, yeah, I mean, my, I, I do have a podcast. Uh, so I'm one of the vice co-chairs for the diversity inclusion committee. And uh, I do a, it's, it's, it's somewhat like a, a bi-weekly or tri-weekly podcast um, where we talk about issues in issues in diversity as it relates to the science, science policy, scientific research, academia, and all of that. Um, but I'm here to lend my support wherever it's needed and answer any questions you may have about this grant. It's a really exciting grant and I can't wait to see what type of ideas come through. Definitely, thank you. And finally, we have Thomas and Thomas is also a member of the DEI committee. Hey everyone, look forward to working with you tonight. Definitely. Thank you. Um, 